Here's how I've been able to stay productive around 95% of the day. This has helped me be more consistent with YouTube, being able to post more videos, make more thumbnails, edit videos more effectively. Also just upskill myself to reading more books, listening to podcasts, actually being able to allocate time to my fitness journey, going to the gym more. Everything in your life improves when you're able to be more productive. You see, what is productivity? Well, productivity is really just a measure of how much progress you've made towards a given task or goal over a set amount of time. That is determined by how much focus you've been able to allocate towards that task over that given time. And in this context, we're gonna change the word focus and we're gonna call it brain points, just for visualization purposes. And I wish someone had told me this years ago when I started out my self-improvement, a business journey. To get anywhere in life, to achieve any progress towards any of your goals, you need to learn this one skill that no one will teach you. And that is the skill of focus. The ability to eliminate distractions and redistribute your brain points into one given task. And I'm gonna teach you in this video how I have been able to learn that skill. Step one, this is the most simple step. You need to find out what season you are currently in in your life. You see, life is kind of broken down into multiple seasons, right? When you're younger, you're going through your learning and your development and your upskilling. And then when you get a bit older, you can go through the season of building a business, building an online personal brand, building a career for yourself. These are all different seasons. Maybe you're in the season of fitness. You're in the season where you want to be a bodybuilder. You're in the season where you want to move weights. Maybe you're, you right now are in the season of building. You want to build a business. You want to build a drop shipping store, although I don't recommend that. Four years ago, I was in a season of learning. I was 17 at the time. At that time in my life, the season I needed to get into was the season of learning, upskilling myself, learning new skills, learning how to do certain skills that would help me in the future going forwards. The mistake that I made was I got into the season of building too quickly. I really wanted to become one of these super young entrepreneurs. I just wanted to make money. That's all I wanted to do. So I convinced myself that I was in the season of building. And I started working on multiple, multiple online businesses at the same time. So this was things like building print on demand stores, building drop shipping sites. So I was convinced I was in the season of building, but what the issue I had was whilst I was building those stores, I was having to learn as I went along how to do Facebook ads, how to build websites, how to do product design, how to brand properly. And I didn't realize that I needed to be in the season of learning, the season of upskilling. So with this first step, you just need to look at your season that you're in. Are you in the season where you have the necessary skills in order to be able to effectively build an online business? Could you effectively go to the gym and train? Or do you need to learn a bit about the gym beforehand? And these seasons don't need to be years long. You know, you could have a season of learning that lasts just six months, learning everything there is to know about the gym and going to the gym and just learning the ropes. You're not gonna be setting PRs at that time. You're not gonna be setting any world record lifts in that time. Prioritize ruthlessly. I wish someone had told me this advice earlier because I used to sit down to do work when I was working on my online businesses. And that work would often involve doing things like logo design, creating a new logo, creating the nice little banner that goes on top of the uh, Shopify hero image, you know, a nice graphic and designing it all in Photoshop and getting better at Photoshop. Yeah, I was getting better at Photoshop, but, and all these tasks would have probably contributed about 0.1% of the success of that business. The actual task that I needed to be doing was the one highest ROI task. So whatever business it is you're working on, whatever endeavor that you're trying to do, whether that's going to the gym to build a good physique, whether that's making YouTube videos, there's probably one task that I bet you can think of right now that is by far the most important task, the highest ROI task for you to do right now. For me, the highest ROI task right now is to record videos, nothing else. Nothing else comes close. So in order to do this, you need to prioritize ruthlessly. If you have a big task that needs doing that you know is the highest ROI task, let's say you own an agency, for example, a service-based business, your highest ROI task by far is outreach. You need to get clients. You need to just get more clients into the business. The actual service delivery and the branding, the message, that can all come later. That's all adding little percentages to the, to the overall success of the business. The 90% success of the business is just getting the clients, right? That's the main task. And that leads us on to step three. This is by far the most important step is to eliminate 
distractions. This is a huge problem that I used to have. There I am, sat down in my room, ready to do some work. I've got my AirPods in, I'm listening to some music. I've got my phone next to me on the side. My girlfriend's constantly texting me. The lads group chat is constantly popping off with new messages. FOMO, I don't wanna miss out what other lads are talking about. My mate sends me a meme from Instagram on my phone. So I pick up my phone and I open the meme just to check it. And next thing you know, 20 minutes go by. I'm just there scrolling mindlessly on my phone. And that's when a voice plays in my head. It's just like myself talking to me, just saying, shouldn't you be working right now? Didn't you sit down to do some work right now? What are you doing? Why are you just scrolling through Instagram on your phone? And then I put my phone down and I'd have this like wave come over me of just like demotivation. No longer motivated to do any work. And it's because I just got that one distraction that sucked me in to that 20 minute doom scrolling session. And you've probably experienced this before. The single biggest tip I can give you to literally just boost your productivity so much, it's just helped me so much, is do these things right now if you have big goals, tasks that you need to do, and you wanna be more productive. Put your phone on silent, that's the first one. Disable all your notifications for all of your apps. And like, <laughs> I found this difficult to do, and I've spoke to people about this, and they, they, they're like, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't disable notifications. Why is it that we can't disable notifications? I found it so difficult to disable my notifications. Genuinely, I think the reason why it's so difficult is because these big corporations like Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and Snapchat, they've literally designed the apps that they're so addictive that we literally just cannot stop scrolling on them. Like they've, they've designed them so perfectly. The thing is you are an absolute slave to these companies. These companies make more money the longer you spend on the apps. So don't be a slave to your phone. If you've got stuff you need to do, then the absolute best thing you can do is just probably, the best thing you can do is just delete these social media apps. This is kind of what I wish I did a long time ago, is just delete these social media apps. But the very least, the very least, just disable notifications. And I know what you're thinking, oh, but part of my business, I need to, I need to post content on Instagram. I need to post content on Facebook. So you can log into Instagram and Facebook and TikTok on desktop and post from there. You don't actually need the app on your phone. Trust me, it's gonna make it so much easier if you don't have these things on your phone because you will be so tempted, so tempted to take little five minute breaks every 20 minutes whilst you're doing some productivity sessions, some work session. The thir this third step is gonna make or break whether you actually ever get anything done, like seriously. The main thing that is sapping away your brain points, remember we talked about brain points that you invest into a task, that is kind of like what focus is. You're taking the, the points you have available, the currency in your brain and translating that, investing it into something. You actually end up investing it and in spending your brain power on your phone. And that is the reason you have nothing left to actually allocate towards doing something productive. And we're talking about a business sense here, but this is this can apply to the gym. This can apply to anything. Anyway, guys, that's the step-by-step -step that I use that's helped me become literally like 90 to 95 percent productive pretty much every day every day that i want to do some work i am so much more productive than i was even one year ago and it's just from doing these three simple steps these are kind of what it boils down to is if you get these three steps right you will become more productive i hope you got some value out of this video guys i hope it helped you and remember just keep improving one percent every day and you'll get there see you in the next one